boom, boom. What's up, everybody? This is DTM Delta Tango Mike. It is time for another stream, another amazing sketch to vector live stream. I am DTM, like I said, Delta Tango Mike. Find me anywhere on the internet, Delta Tango Mike. And today we have an amazing new drawing that I'm going to share with you. And look, I got a big old Surface Studio, so that's how we're doing it today. I'm not working on the iPad because this screen is bigger and it's touchscreen. So we're going to get into that in a second. I want to give a shout out to everybody who's already joining us. Oh my gosh, Gareth, Umacorn, Wendy, Gareth, of course, that's right. I said Gareth. Laura, how you doing? And big ups to Pixie Pew who just was just sharing some Adobe uh, amazing goodness, AE. And uh, I, I need to get there one day with this animations and stuff. Hey, Wendy, nice to meet you. Thank you. Voodoo Val in the house. Woohoo, word up. So that's why we're going to get down today. If you have some comments, questions, or, su or suggestions, please leave it in the chat. We want to know who you are. If you don't say something in the chat, we don't know you're there. Big ups to those of you who are watching us on YouTube. Nathaniel, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Joshua, Misty, again, that's right, clever. Oh, I, I'm live a lot, so I know some of these names already. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Let me go ahead and switch over. Boom, there goes my screen. This is my uh, Surface Studio. There we go. Boom. And this is the drawing that I'm sharing with you all today. Please, please, please go to my projects on Behance, The Creative Genius. Just Behance.net forward slash The Creative Genius. It's right there, as a matter of fact, down below. And you can download this picture. When you download this picture, you can add it to any one of your favorite programs to start drawing and coloring, vectorizing, whatever it is, painting, whatever it is your art style is about. Go ahead and do it and then share it with me. Share it with me. We're using the hashtag sketch to vector. It's right there all the way over there on that side. Boom, boom, boom. That's right. Thank you, Voodoo Val, for the link. There it is. I like the Surface Studio sketch, says Wendy. Nice, nice, nice. And yes, wow, Voodoo Val. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. All right, so let's get to it. What's, uh, let's get to it and get to drawing. So my process is the sketching and sketching steps are always start with the idea. And so here it is. I don't use any special uh, pencil brushes. As a matter of fact, it's just a basic pencil. But I do change the size and the color so that it, it looks a little bit... Um, Fancy. If you use color pencils or a, 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 you use a pencil and when in color, then your sketches look a little fancy. That's that's gonna be it. That's how it goes. And so I had this idea. It was um, boom, boom, boom. It's the the weather's been changing, and I had this idea. It's like, well, what if we could draw, you know, Batgirl, but then she had a sweater. Why? Because it is that sweater weather. And I know I love my Dodgers, you know, so I got my L.A. Dodgers gear on, but I got my sweater on right now. My wife tells me that I look like uh, Mr. Rogers and uh, when I wear a light color sweater. But I like the sweater. Sometimes I like to stay warm. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to turn on the heat in the house. Not yet. And so I was like, well, what if Catwoman, Batwoman, no, Batgirl, had a sweater on and so I did a quick sketch and then of course because it's sweater weather you need a little cup of coffee boom there it is and uh, and then she's gonna have a little saying and so I like to start with a quick sketch idea that goes uh, with um, with uh, where I set up the the scene composition elements and so on but just basic shapes then I start with another layer and this new layer will then have uh, some of the cleaner details. It's like, bam, so there we go. So once I start drawing, I go ahead and turn off the original layer, and now I have a cleaner sketch. I go get my other uh, color, and see how that sketch looks? It's like, uh, it's, it looks fancy, it looks pretty cool. So I turn down the size, and of course I am on a device that supports pressure. So boom, boom, boom. So if I press hard, uh, I get a thicker line, a stronger line. If I press lightly, I get a thinner line. What's really cool about sketching is that sometimes you just get uh, the ideas 
in the in, uh, in the the drawing ideas on paper or on the screen, and you don't think too much about the details or uh, the straight lines or anything like that. And of course, you know I do I do like drawing straight lines because I spent a lifetime of practice trying to be like those comic book artists who have super straight clean lines in the comic books. But uh, but yes, when you're loose and relaxed then you're able to get a whole different feel, whole different look to some of your sketches. And sometimes I kind of don't like even finishing the drawing because then, because the sketch looks just so awesome. It's like, you know, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. What's up? What's up? Um, oh, it's on Creative Genius. That's right. The Creative Genius. Thank you, Budo Val, for the link. And I draw this in layers. And so I use a lot of layers. And let me tell you, layers are super important because when you're working on a character and let's say, you know, you want to do the drawing, you know, boom, boom, boom. This is my go-to pose, okay? This is my go-to pose. Shh, shh, shh. Boom, bam, bam, right? So when, when when you're using layers and you start your sketches, you it's, it's real easy to lose your yourself, in the details of a drawing and start, you know, like, oh, I want his eyes to be like, you know, dreamy and and, and super cool. There goes the hat. I wanted to have a, a cool hat. I wear hats a lot, so it needs to have a hat. And so, you know, it's really easy to start getting lost in those details. And sometimes when you step back, it's wonky. It's crooked. It's off. And that's because you focused on the details too early before you had your composition set. And so it's super important to, and of course, I already know how to draw myself. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And I did sh trim my beard so I don't have a big beard this time. But let's, let's draw it like a, with a big beard. But because I did those quick shapes, I know where things go. This is Adobe Fresco. And I draw with Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. And I have a big project that I've been working on that jumps between Fresco and Photoshop. So um, just give me something to draw with and I'm going to draw. But, but no matter which program you use, sometimes you have to get these, uh, these uh, shapes in here so that then, boom, 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 look. Uh -huh. Yes, and, and I do like that my character, that he leans over a little bit because as you draw, it, 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 as time goes on and you keep drawing and drawing and drawing, you kind of end up a little bit hunched up with, uh, over the, the table and stuff. So here we go, boom. It's got a collar. Got its collar, boom, there we go. And then let's do the belly. And then there's the letter A. You see that? Boom, I can start adding the the elements later once I have a sketch. Once I have the shapes. Once I have the shapes. So now I can keep on sketching and bam. So now this is two, two, two steps. One was the shapes. Then uh, some elements. Let's do elements. Next step is always going to be the cleanup. So let's change the color. And now that I know this is what I want, you know, in this hand, now, now I'm paying attention to like, dang, that hand was huge. Okay, fine, we're gonna make a big hand. Uh, and then let's go like this. There it is, bam, there goes the arm. And so I'm drawing all in the same layer, but I'm trying to, uh, make a point here. And I was reading this on Reddit the other day. They were asking us, like, are you supposed to move the page around? The art slouch. That's right, Voodoo Val. <laughs> you have the art slouch. <laughs> art slouch. There you go. It's not a bad thing. It's kind of like that lump in your finger. It's not a bad thing because that's where the pencil sits. <laughs> The art slouch. Uh, and so the, on Reddit, they were, at, they were saying, uh, are you supposed to uh, flip the paper around? Like, yes, yes, because your hand has a natural movement to it. And so you got to stick with the strength of your hand. Now, um, there was also a comment about, well, when you're painting, you don't have the option to move the painting around. And that's the same with like tattooing. I used to be a tattoo artist for 20 years. And, uh, and, and you cannot just flip the person around. It's like, I need to get this part right here, flip the person in the air and just hold them up. That, that doesn't work out like that. So then that means you have to adjust your body. So, but 
but the but there's still an adjustment that happens. So either you adjust the paper, adjust the canvas, or adjust your body. And that's because you want that natural movement of your hand. You don't want to have to fight against your elbow, against your wrist. You don't you don't need to do any crazy weird stuff. Turn the page around. So fun. That's my la oh, thank you, Voodoo Val. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So so there we go. Boom. So you, you know, so now this is uh the third. The third, um, let's go ahead and use that. And so now we do detail. If I know how to spell, that's that, that says detail. Uh, trust me. So there it goes. Boom, bam, boom. There we go. Look at that. Uh huh. So I'll still do the LA. And then, then got to have the belly. Boom. There it goes. The ear. Uh 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 uh. And so now I'm starting to add details. And of course, my hats come out looking super cool when I don't want to overthink it. I just drew the the line and it worked out boom oh yeah 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 and so now as the more you practice this the easier it's going to be when uh when you're working on a particular project a particular drawing or just doodling and that's how this um catwoman happened i was just doodling i was like you know uh, uh, it's sweater weather or not catwoman i keep saying catwoman is batgirl what 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 is uh backer gonna wear? I do like Adidas uh, sweaters a lot. The the little jogging suits. What do you call them? Uh, not jogging suits. Uh, they're called something suits. I forgot. And uh, I was like, cool. Let's draw that. And so sometimes I skip over it and just get right into the drawing. But the fact is that when you start with some shapes and add some elements, then you get to the detail, and now the body looks like what it's supposed to look like. The character looks like what it's supposed to look like versus um. Uh, uh, so a drawing that is, is missing volume because you did not take the time to add in some shapes and so I made a big hand here just let me just finish this drawing here because because it's okay I like it boom there goes the hand and so now because I got big fingers here now I have the option of drawing big fingers here there we go bam and then this is gonna be a pencil just click and hold, draw, draw the the line, and then hold it. It doesn't matter how crooked the line is; just gotta hold it for a second, and then it snaps. Boom! There goes the pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. There goes the bottom of the pencil, and now I can do like a. There it is. Uh, let's draw that. Let's fix that last one. Boom! There you go. Look at that. Ah, uh, yeah, boy, I like it. <laughs> yeah this is cool sometimes it just works out but of course it works out this one because i draw this a lot i draw myself a lot if you're a character artist want to be a character artist uh, practice drawing yourself you're the best model there is if you're looking for a particular pose stand in front of your phone and take a picture take a picture all right uh let's see imagine flipping your client in a tattoo <laughs> yes so i'm gonna need you to flip upside down just for three hours Yep, if you strap them to a table and then just flip the table around. <laughs> flip the paper, it makes it a lot easier. That's right, I do it in fresco all the time. Yes, yes, <laughs> I do it, I do. All right, so here we go. Shapes, elements, detail, yes. And then from there, you, you can take off with the drawing. I did uh, do a uh, portfolio review once, and, uh, and this artist was showing me this uh, drawing. And uh, and I just could, I, I cannot tell like how he got there like the drawing doesn't look right. How did you get here? Show me your layers and there weren't any layers. And I was like, oh well, then that's why it doesn't look right because you're going for a dynamic pose that is uh, a lot of foreshortening and uh, and very highly stylized. But if you don't have the foundation to your sketch, then it's really not going to reflect in your final drawing. So yes, it was really. Uh, helpful thank you all all right so here we go i have uh so from the sketch the originals one of the original sketch there we goes you see that you know i started with a very rough head size a thin body on the brown uh body we have like this line that goes up and down like this i didn't want to uh go too crazy with the body sometimes i do like that cartoony style to it and so i made a very bony body a very thin body it's like cool so then here we go. Now we have our uh, main character, bam. And uh, that's another thing about is that my hands, I, when I, 
when a long time ago when I was starting to figure out that I wanted to be a character artist, my hands were always little. They were always too little. And my brother-in-law used to make fun of me. He used to say, uh, what's wrong with their hands? What's wrong with their hands? And so I was like, man, um, uh, let me go ahead and hide all of the layers. And I was like, I, I just couldn't figure out the hands. And, and hands are tough because it's of all the fingers and the bones and so on. And so as time has gotten on, I practice and practice and practice. And I want to draw the hands better, do better, 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 hands, hands, hands. And so you got to sit there and work it out. Okay, come on, let's get this color. So now that I, uh, so in this process here, I did do a lot of erasing. As you can see, there's a line that goes here. There's a line that goes there because originally I just might have done a line like this and said, okay, there goes the finger. But then, you know, sit there and you hold the cup with your own fingers like, eh, the angle is going to be, you know, a, a particular way for the finger to look right. So let's go with this. And now you're starting to clean up your character and then of course you got some cool nails boom all right that's not a good one i don't know if I, that was good or not but let's go like this all right just kind of clean up the nails and so this is the sketch that i shared it's in my projects and it's a downloadable link there is a link in my behance where you can download all the sketches from this series Hey, Rob, how you doing? All uh, all the where the original sketch is done in fresco as well. Yes. Any tips on doing this with paper and pencil sketches, differences and similarities? Woo! Woo! Can we do this on paper? Yes, we can because it all originated in paper. Everything originates in paper. Pencils and paper, no matter what it is. I don't care if it was the Sistine Chapel. It was originated in paper. Who did that Sistine Chapel? Was it Michelangelo? He, that dude sketched it out. He had to sketch it out. You can't just get up there and paint a masterpiece and not have some sketches. So I'm sure their sketches exist somewhere. And if they don't, uh, I don't. that's some, some out of this world stuff. Okay, so here there's a finger. I didn't draw the finger here. So that's going to be your, your job to draw this other finger. Bam! Boom! <laughs> you know, it's good to be in the drawing mood and that drawing comes out. <laughs> But do you have any advice? Yes, the advice is that even on paper, is uh, you use layers, except we call it light sketching, blue line sketching, color pencil sketching, and then finally inking, and then you erase all the sketches. And in the tattoo world, what we used to do, and I don't like that finger now that I'm looking at it, it's too little. In the tattoo world, what we used to do is, uh, there we go, thicker, bigger, bigger, finger is um transparency paper so that's still layers it is still layers uh artists have been using layers forever and ever and ever now one thing i, I did do that's uh that i'm gonna i'm gonna go with here that it, that um i'm gonna admit that it doesn't look right but i'm gonna call it stylized i had a friend of mine uh i did a podcast interview and uh, he was telling me about his time in, in school, art school, and how his uh, professor kept harassing him about cl doing clean work, clean artwork, clean artwork. And then one day the professor finally got tired and he said, he told my artist friend, he said, well, you either clean up the drawings or you're just going to call your art, we're going to call that your art style. And so my friend said, okay, that's my art style. That was it. And so, and so that's, that's where stylized, my stylized art style comes in because like, hey, it's stylized. It doesn't have to be super anatomically correct. However, you still want to give that sense and idea that, that what you're looking at, it's okay. It's, it's right. So looking at this body here, you know, there it goes kind of, kind of slim this way. And so what I did is I added a little bit of the shirt right here, just a corner to show like maybe that's the chest and, and it has a bump and boom, it goes down, right? It goes down to the jacket right there. Um, and so, but there's no shoulder, there's no nothing down here. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to draw a shoulder. I don't want to add a lot of elements because I kind of like this, this uh, the, the head and then the neck, um, the collar, then the big zipper and then boom, the shirt. So I kind of wanted that in there that way. So I didn't want to draw a shoulder even though a shoulder doesn't look too bad yeah that could have been all right 
It could have been all right. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, you're bringing out things. Yes, the blue line sketching is a great example of traditional layers. That's right. My style's not so messy, says Becky. <laughs> you know, hey, you got to go for what you know. And, you know, listen, listen, listen. You have to have fun with your art. We're all trying to be superstars here because we want to get to the level that Voodoo Val is in. You know, your favorite streamers out here who, who can draw amazing work. Wade, uh, Cuff, uh, Pixie Pew. And uh, and so so you really concentrate and you work hard. It's like, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to draw this. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. Yes. However, um, don't forget to have fun along the way because it's so easy to get caught up into trying to draw perfectly every time. You get caught up trying to get your line work just right. I want my art to look. I, I have that same thing. No, no matter how good I draw now. I'm looking at other artists working and I'm like, I want to draw like that. So it, it, it's easy to get stuck in your head. And the reality is that you have to make sure you remember to have fun. And look, I did add the shoulder. There it is. Oh, my gosh. So one, once I start working in vector, I go ahead and get the uh, vector brush. And let me see the comments because it's a lot of activity going on. And it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Do you mostly use traditional tools? Uh, uh, Voodoo Val's asking, and yes, a good point. Bring up blue line sketching is a great example of traditional layers. Uh, fun fact: back in the day, if you sketch with a blue pencil, then did line art in black over top. When you scanned your art in with a scanner, the blue lines did not show up. Only the dark line art. Correct, Voodoo Val. That is true. We call that um, um, photo. Photo. Um, photo uh there was a word for it i forgot already uh photo proof not photo proof it's uh any case you're right the blue did not show up uh says the guy look at <laughs> thank you voodoo val uh voodoo val got skills uh gary says i still do sketches in blue before finalizing the line art even in digital yes yes i love the art community yes uh yes okay good so here it is it's time for a uh, vector line work. I sit here and play around. And what's cool about vector is that sometimes you draw the line and it goes over the area that you don't want to touch. But you have this uh, touch modifier here. Double tap it. Tap it again so we have the blue line outside. And look, I can get rid of a little corner that was there. I can get rid of some of these extra lines that kind of end up crossing. Crossover. Boom, but there it is. Bam. I did add the shoulder. I can see that over there now. I got uh, um, the the hand um, armor. I don't know what you call it. Oh, I missed the fingers. Where's the fingers? I guess this is time to do the fingers. <laughs> How did that happen? What? I don't know, but I guess I... I um, uh, Past DTM was waiting on future DTM. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, check the brush size. And I do recall that I did the drawing in the iPad. And so now I'm on the surface. And so some of the extra uh, details are different. So let's go ahead and uh, check my brush settings. I turn off velocity dynamics because I like to draw fast. I like to do some fast line work. And, uh, and if you have velocity dynamics on, when you draw a fast line, you get a thin line. And if you go slow, you get a fat line. Uh, so, so I turn that off. My pressure dynamics, usually I have them around the 40s. There we go. Boom. And so now I'm looking for my, let's see, size 4. Not too far. Size 3. Let's go. Come on, that's 2.5. Come on, there you go, 3. There it is. That's kind of better. Let me see. A little bit better. So let's go 3.5. And I can uh, just, it used to be you could type in the numbers. There it is. So that's the line weight I'm looking for. I want to keep a, um, a line weight that is consistent for at least the outline. You see that? And then I use a different line weight to do the extra details in here. And so the line weights help me set separate uh, different elements and if I want a thinner line weight I can just uh, use less pressure 
All right, so let's go ahead and go like this. Look, and then here, I probably just go ahead and make a line to finish that off. All right, because I can, I can obsess. So that's not, that's gonna, gonna happen. You're gonna obsess, obsess, obsess. So there's the the thumb right here, and I don't know what happened. I I should have drawn it like this. Boom. Bam. Let's go. You can cross, cross over, and then get my touch modifier, and take off these lines right here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Boom. I shared a room with my brother. He's a uh, two and a half years uh, younger than me, or a year and a half younger than me. So we grew up together. There was no get out my room type of stuff. All right, so there it is. Got it. Move the touch my fire over to the side. Now we can go ahead and get these uh, nails and, and fingers. You know, I, I could take my time with the, with the nails and make them really cool. And actually, you know, I see uh, these posts and uh and i probably should do some like some nail art yeah yeah that'd be cool yes but uh we, we we only have an hour so uh catch me on a different stream and we may do that i stream every monday and wednesday at 7 p.m right here on behance boom and on our discord we do have a discord okay cool so here we go uh-huh. And then I spend a lot more time knocking out all these little extra things, little ideas that come to mind. You know, that's what I like about drawing and creativity in general is, is that if you can take if you take your time, don't stress yourself about it. Just take your time, draw something. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't like it, um, don't keep it. But take your time and then come back to it later. And by the time you see it again, a few days later, and see the drawing again, you'll get a bunch of different ideas like, oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do that. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing how your creativity is going to just engage with something that you worked on already. And Becca says, I was just thinking pointing nails would be fun. Yes, yes. And if it was Catwoman, definitely have pointy nails. But this is Batgirl. I'm Batgirl. There's my notes, pencil uh, number six. That's it. That was uh, my um, the the sketch that I did it with uh, num the regular pencil number six. Number six, uh, weight, line weight. Got it. There it is. It's sweater weather. So I did a quick outline on all of this. It's like I like it. Okay, I like it so far. And uh, and so for today, what I want to do is keep it monochromatic, right? So let's go ahead and uh, add. A detail here on the mug boom got the Batman oh, Batman. and so by keeping the Batman logo on a different layer I can change the opacity look at that boom there we go let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the pieces we don't need here there it is got it let's go there uh-huh oh too much too much all right there we go uh-huh uh-huh nice 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 boom and so the eraser is way too big also not smoothing but the size there we go take it easy brah there it is nice and uh and right here on the finger got it uh what else we got we got the shading and let me turn off the sketch we're done with the sketch I got the shading for the pencil, turn the opacity down on that. So and so and if you notice, when I draw something on a layer, it is the same color as the line stream. <laughs> Catwoman is my girl. <laughs> that Batman growl. You can't yes you can, Voodoo Val. Uh it's the same color as the line work, but I use the layer opacity to turn it down and it changes the color on the screen on the drawing. I'm Catwoman. I'm Batgirl. My granddaughter has been grabbing my mask. Where's my mask? It's around here somewhere. I think I left it on my other desk. And uh, and she's uh, she puts on my Batman mask. And then she just yells, I'm Batman. And uh, so I need to start getting her to say, I'm Batgirl. All right, there we go. So another layer. Boom. And so I started this idea that maybe I should do different colors or different elements and different layers so that I can play around 
with the tone. Look at that. Very dark, very light. Yeah, I was like, yes, I like this. Uh, and what is that floating on the on the left? Is uh, let me see. Okay, there it goes. The coffee again. Same idea. Same idea. But I'm separating things. I'm separating things. Oh, there it is up on the top. The topmost layer. There it goes. Sweater weather. I like it. I like it. Uh, I like sweaters because then I can add more things into my pockets. <laughs> anybody anybody likes adding extra stuff to carry around it's like nah i can put that in my pocket all right let me get this uh there we go i see something here on the face it doesn't go there so let's go ahead find the layer where that belongs to and get rid of it got it nice boom looking good and then let's go ahead and shade in the 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 mask, boom, I can turn it down some more. There you go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. And if you um, really want to, I am going to use that mask. Yeah, that's going to be my layer for my nails. And I see something here on the mug that I need to fix. And here we go. Boom. Just kind of just filling it in. And I take and I'm gonna try to go too fast. However, let me fix that mug. There it is, right there, that mug. Give me the eraser. And uh no, not the eraser. Let's go ahead and just get rid of it. Sometimes when you want to get rid of something, just just go ahead and use the lasso tool. There's the eraser popping up. Boom, get rid of that. Deselect and go back to where you were before. And let's go. Let's fill it in. Mm -hmm. Got the nails. I think it's a good idea if I added some designs to the nails. Like maybe the the DC villains. I can add a portrait of DC villains. Or oh, the logos. The logos. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like the Joker logo or something. Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. Boom, bam, there we go. Just fill it in with the paint bucket. Got it, got it. But I can get, I, I'm not done. I can get my eraser and then just add a little bit of design there. There you go. There it is. Because they're shiny. Anybody watch Moana? Cause I'm shiny. <laughs> Look sweet. What's up, Danette? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's smart to keep the bat logo on a different layer to lighten. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Looks a lot cleaner on the cup. Yes. All right. So now, uh, the last thing. Let me see. This is the same layer, right? No, this is a different layer. That's one layer. Let me see. This layer right here is the. Yep, the shading around the face and the. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't like what's happening here, but I, I, I'm going I'm to I'm roll with it because uh, otherwise I'll be here forever. And uh, and I'm cool with hanging out here with you guys all day. I think uh, Adobe would be like, hey, man, you you over your time. OK, so now let's go ahead and uh, add some more shading elements in different areas. Because I think that's the same, uh, same, yeah, that's the same layer for the shading. Now I'm, uh, yeah, I'm keeping different shadings and different layers, and there's a reason for this. Because once we go into Illustrator, uh, I'm gonna do some magic with the gradients, and that's when you want to um, change the, 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 you want different gradients and different things, and so you have to have those uh, elements already separate. So let's do a little shading here. All right, there you go. Let's do a little bit of shading here. There we go. And uh, it's not super perfect. It just needs to be there. Look. Uh, and so I can use the paint bucket. Boom, fill that in. Fill that in. And it looks very similar, and that's okay. Because I'm not done. And I'm looking at my time to make sure to see how much more I can do. Because we can go uh, spend a lot of time on this drawing. All right, here we go. So let's 
the higher the finger it is, the less uh, shading you really ha can have on it because it, the more light is more light it has access to. So let's go like that. See? Boom! Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, we're almost there. Yes, yes. Boom. And then let me see. That's the helmet. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna stay on the same layer. And look, I can go like this. Right now I'm drawing around. Now in Windows on Fresco on Windows, you don't have that little dot that follows your pen around, so you kinda have to pay attention to where I'm drawing because you don't have that um, little dot to guide you. I'm sorry. Boom. Here we go. I'm kind of just, I also add in some more details here. And, you know, uh, I try to draw with less and less details, but I can't. I can't. I'm working on a new project right now that I'm trying to manage my amount of details okay all right so let's go like this and even though there would be shading on this arm i'm gonna try to keep that shading to a uh, minimum so that it's easier oops come on it's easier to um adjust later okay Okay, okay, okay. Get the eraser. Let's do some lines. Because there's lines down here. There's lines down here in the bottom. So there should be lines right there. Let's go to a line right here. For the for the uh, palm of your hand. Got it. Good. Okay, okay, okay. And then let's do a little bit of uh, shading here. All right, let's fix that. Let's go like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Boom. Fill it in. Get the eraser. And now I'm going to do. Let's do it this way. Those are the little. That's the little um, elastic. What do you call it? the cups? Yes, yes, so satisfying. Thank you, thank you. The shading brings out the character. I think it is smart, making it different. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Katarina, how you doing? All right, so now I need to get rid of the color inside of this. Uh, and uh, trim this out, because I don't want this here. There you go. Boom. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Boom. All right. Yeah. The, the, you know, I wanted to make it mo monochromatic because I don't have to argue with colors. I just uh, keep it simple. But even in monochromatic, you got to know where to, <laughs> where to shade it. It's not it's not carefree and nah, I'm messing up right now, but it's okay. It's never carefree. Come on. Boom. Mm -hmm. There we go. And there's a way to adjust the um, the pressure of the eraser also, so that way you can have a consistent line weight. And here it looks like I missed a line right there. It's all good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tap my, boom, look at that. Uh, this is the touch modifier. And now I can just get rid of some, some of the little spots. Let's get fix that right there. And uh, fill this in right there. Got it. Good, okay. If you understood what you, go stop scheming and looking hard all right here we go uh oh. i get the, I, I break out into song because some of the times sometimes when i say something it reminds me of a song yeah yes it's okay we're gonna roll with that 
All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this layer. Let's see if we can duplicate that layer. It got a little darker right there. And then that's when I get the eraser. And let's go like this. Okay, get the, the vector brush. And now I can, boom, get rid of that. Where else we go? Where else did we get the nails? So now I can do another pass at the nails. Another pass at the nails. There you go. Yeah, I, I need a nap. I need a fresco to add sound effects when you're drawing. There we go. So now the nails have like a three dimension. All right, so let's see. This is the mask and the lips. Just do a circle right here. Another circle right there. And uh, let me see where else we got that right here. I don't know if I like that. We're just going to have to leave that lip right there. Let's see if I can do the mask. Yeah. Let's go this side. Uh-huh. Nice. Yep. Boom, adding three dimensions. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. We're adding more effects. Boom, boom. I like it. <laughs> Before and after. Uh-huh, I like it. Good. Okay, cool. So let's roll into uh, Illustrator. One more second, one more second. Not there, not there yet. Hold on. I'm too excited. Okay, duplicate layer. Boom, there goes the hair. Yes, I wanted the hair. I want that hair. And what's cool about uh, drawing different layers for different parts of uh, the shading is that I can run my pen, uh, eraser over a different part of the drawing and it doesn't, uh, it was not going to mess with, uh, with what I already have on on that other part of the drawing because it's on a different layer. What's up, RB in the house? Would it be easier to zoom in and out or does it make it harder? No, zooming in and out is good. Thank you, Becca, for the confidence in my line and shadow work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sometimes art just makes people break out into song and dance. Don't fight it, says Voodoo Val. That's right. <laughs> Don't fight it. You know you want to bite it. No, that's a different song right there. That's a, a hip hop song. Uh, he'll eat you up, yum. Make the girls go dong. Rock this space to the rhythm. Uh, that is a um, DJs and MCs. Da 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 da. That's a DJ uh, Joe Cooley. Joe Cooley. Who is the other guy? I forgot his name. So, yes, yeah, sometimes you just want to break out and dance. And, you know, when I create, I, I draw, I, I, I have uh, music. And so, yeah, you, you don't break out into dance, but the rhythm is in your head. Joe, Joe Cooley. Mm, Joe Cooley. It's called DJs and MCs. Da -da 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 -da. Rodney O. Rodney O and Joe Cooley. There you go. Look at the hair. And you do want to zoom in and zoom out because one thing you don't want to do is you're drawing to be this little like this. And then you're trying to do a line and that space, you know, for you to do that line is kind of small, even though that came out perfect. So it's better if you just zoom out, zoom in and then use the full power of your wrist. Boom. What's up? Let the beat hit him. Uh, looks the three, looks, love the three dimension to add into the effects. It looks great. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you see the hair starting to pop out a little bit more. And I think, uh, let's see if we well, don't want this hair. I don't want this hair right here. Let's go like that. But let me just do this anyway. Let's go. Let that be. Hit them. Let your body. Let that be. Go round and round and up and down. There we go. Boom. Let's do that side. Okay. 
clean it up a little. There we go. Got it. Yeah, I kind of like that gap in, in between the the neck and the hair. And now I'll go back. Uh, let me see. Where was I? I was in this one. Yep. And let's go ahead and do a little bit on this right there and a little bit right there. Got it. And then just a couple of lines. There it is. Okay. 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 I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And we're going to move into the next step, which is Illustrator. Can't forget Illustrator. How much time? Okay. Five minutes. Five or uh, ten minutes, I mean. So, uh got a couple minutes in fresco now because i'm on the desktop uh it's a big um big plus to use uh there we go the fingers fix that let's go like this it's a big plus to go from fresco to illustrator all in the same device i love that if you have a pc that supports fresco fresco is only available on pc and the iPads, no Max. Oh. So fortunately for me, I am on the Surface Studio. Oh, that's not there. I need a, I need, I need that. What happened? Oh, that's there. Okay. I was like, well, what's going on here, pal? There you go. Just fix that. Yeah. So you kind of um get ha have an advantage when you're on uh pc boom so this oh there it is i was i was like well i know that was on a uh -huh. there we go just clean the edges a little bit there you go uh-huh And I'm missing uh, some more lines here. So let me change brushes and go like this. Boom. Okay, I think we're ready. We're ready because uh, 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 I got stuff to do. I got, well, I have a time limit. I got stuff to do, but it's a time limit. All right. All right, good, good, good. Let's go. Uh-huh. I like that. Good. There it is. Okay. 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 We're going to roll with this later on. Check out my Instagram and you'll see how, uh, how it ends up, how this ends up, uh, finishing it off. So let's go ahead and save it. Oh yeah. And then the sweater weather, mm, let's get rid of that. The sweater weather part right there. Whew. Erase it. I only need one. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay, so let's go ahead. There's a uh, box and an arrow on the top right. And uh, it says, open a copy Illustrator desktop. So I click on it and just wait, put down my pencil. Say what's up to everybody who's joining me on Instagram. I am streaming to Instagram right now, Delta Tango Mike. But that's a behind the scenes look. Misty says, so cute. Oh, thank you, Misty. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Fresco is iPad and PC, but it's beta on PC still. Well, I'm on PC right now, and it works like regular. It's regular Fresco. Uh, uh, boom, boom, boom. The hair looks fantastic. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. There it is. Look at that. Just give it a second to start up. Uh, so I did not open Illustrator. I just clicked on uh, export from Fresco to Illustrator and Fresco, and then Illustrator opened up by itself. If uh, if I had um, if I uh, if it was not in the same machine, if I was on the iPad and I said send to desktop and Illustrator, then my computer would automatically open Illustrator by itself. It's crazy. Let's click on OK. Bum bum bum. There we goes. There it goes. There it goes. Come on. There we go. Boom. Yes. Yes. OK. OK. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now let's click on the direct selection to click and drag and all of that is vector lots of vectors i am sorry i didn't look at uh at, at youtube i'm sorry thank you voodoo val uh for uh responding on youtube if you're watching this on youtube thank you very much uh i'm sorry i haven't paid attention what's up to rafael thank you for being there okay so this is all vector 
and uh, and now we have full power of Adobe Illustrator to really really uh, make this pop right so let's go first things first let's get the smoke it's right here there's the smoke right so let's select that layer add a gradient boom and you know what I want this color I want this color to be uh, that right there come on mm, okay maybe the mouse is better let me see yeah where's my mouse Come back here. Mm. Uh, get that. Uh huh. Here, get that, and go right there. Boom. There we go. There it is. Bam. See, look at that. How that. Uh, how, <laughs> how it looks right now. Yes. Now, but uh, there's something going on right here I don't like. So let me fix this. Uh, lock all my layers. Get the smoke there we go get my keyboard so i can just click on delete it's gone there it is yeah yeah i like that it's not the smoke it's the vapor exported it nice it's it's been vector because i've been using vector brushes thank you for the question wendy yes i have the full power illustrator i exported from fresco but while i was in fresco i made sure i use my vector brushes and so the third tool from the top is the vector brushes. You have a ton of different um, brushes that you can use. I have my favorites. There it is, the round, the taper, medium jitter, heavy jitter, and the G-pin, G-G-G-G-pin. And, uh, and so now that I'm, so, so I make sure that I draw with vector brushes in Fresco, and then I can export to Illustrator, and now I have the power of Illustrator. And I can double click that and say that is the, uh, the vapor vapors boom lock it go ahead and make sure that i save as there it is let's go sweater weather ai boom uh this this goes right here and sketch to vector sweater weather save it i have an adobe illustrator file i could have saved to the cloud also so that in case i want to just go and open this file in adobe illustrator on the ipad and there we go so little by little i start going through my file adding some gradients if i want to or in this case i'm going to go ahead and uh make, duplicate this layer Whew, boom let's use the the mouse because i'm running really really short on time i like to talk a lot i'm sorry i'm sorry let's go ahead and get that angle from the bottom Boom, now we're here. Ah, look at that. So it's darker, darker. So actually, I have an idea what I want to do. I want this to go from the top. Bam. So now we have a nice little gradient right there. If I, if I um, turn off one of the other layers, now there it is. It's lighter, but I still have a gradient. So that's the pencil. Pencil. Boom. Uh, this is the line work. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy. Nice. <laughs> yes, uh, you can save to the cloud and that will help you for future projects. Yes, we have a few minutes left. That's right. Make sure you download the files. Go to my Behance, The Creative Genius, and download the sketches. And uh, maybe in the future, I make these vector files available. We'll see. Let's see, which is the hair. Okay, so let's grab this one and look. This one is going to have a gradient. You get a gradient. You get a gradient. Everybody gets a gradient. Boom. So there it is. This has a gradient on it. And see like how it adds like a different dimension. Oh, my gosh. Let's turn it up a little bit. All right. That's all I have for you today. My name is DTM Delta Tango Mike. Find me anywhere on the Internet. Delta Tango Mike. I will be posting the final progress on this drawing. Look at that hair right there. It's got a nice cool gradient. <laughs> yes, I will post the final progress on this. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, send me your ideas, questions, and comments. I'm always open to it all. There it is. Let's turn, put that one on the bottom. Let's get this one. Turn down the opacity on that. And let's go with the multiply. Boom. Turn it down some more. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. 
Until next time, stay stay uh, uh, warm in this cold weather. Thank you, Voodoo Val. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, RB. I renew Rafael, um, uh, Gareth, Misty, Umakura, Umacorn. Thank you all. And uh, look under your chair, says Voodoo Val. Gradients, that's right. <laughs> A big stream. Thank you all, everybody. I am DTN Delta Tango Mike. Check out our uh, Discord and our streams every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Until next time, peace out.